Welcome to Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration. I'm Jane Monzuris. Today we're at the Uptown Farmers Market in Phoenix, enjoying all of this beautiful Arizona weather. Before we show you around, let's take a look at what's coming up on the show. We take a trip to the Wildlife World Zoo for some family fun. Windows that'll knock out the extreme Arizona heat. And we're going back in time for our craft room crash, making a macrame plant holder. All that and more are coming up on today's show. Uptown Farmers Market and joining me is Rachel Manley. Now Rachel, this market has been voted one of the best in the country by many publications. Why do you think that is? So there are many, many reasons for that and I would say that one of the reasons, the main reasons is that we've kind of built a whole community here where people come, they like to spend their Wednesday or their Saturday with us. So that is a huge perk. And then another wonderful feature is we have over 150 vendors here and so there's always something for everyone to choose from. So it's kind of fun, you just, I always recommend people go up and down the aisles, kind of experience all the different vendors and see what they like. And we are dog friendly, which is a big, big plus because a lot of people will bring their kids out, bring their dogs out, and it's almost like you're at a dog show, which is kind of fun. Right, and you, can, you, make, you make a day out of it, really. Exactly. Uh, over 150 vendors. Yes. So what kind of vendors and products can we expect? So what the woman who started this, her name's Bo Mastow, and she wanted to make this almost kind of a one-stop shop. What that means is pretty much make it so that if you came here, you could do all your shopping for the week. So we have everything from gardeners to growers to different visiting artists. We usually have about 15 to 20 visiting artists. You can come and get food trucks as well. So like I said, if you want to come and make a day out of it, you can have breakfast, you can have lunch. So we pretty much have everything here. And we even have things such as like meat and dairy. So again, it can be a one-stop shop where you can get everything you need. So really a little something of everything. Very true, yes. And you know, Rachel, in today's world, we're all busy, we're all looking at our phones, we're stuck to the screens, we're, you know, we're just going here and there and everywhere. Mm -hmm. This is really a community, and this is sort of a social gathering. Why is that important in today's busy lifestyle? I think it's wonderful because a lot of times nowadays, you basically don't know any of your neighbors. You have no idea who lives next to you or across the street from you. So I think that, and I see it personally, you know, every, every market I work, I do see here people coming, they actually start to get to know other customers. They become friends or family with their vendors, so it's really a wonderful experience. And the Uptown Farmers Market is open all year round. It is. But only on certain days. Yes. So on Saturday, we are open year round, and that the time for that is 8 to 1, and so even on the Saturdays when it's hot out, you're thinking, oh gosh, you know, I don't want to be outside walking around on the pavement. We actually have most of our vendors inside. And then we have on Wednesday markets, we are open from 9 to 1, and that market's open October through April, so when the weather is kind of nice out still. Yeah, we can spend some time outside. Exactly. And enjoy the market. Rachel, exactly. thank you so thank much. You. Great information. I can't wait to check thank it out. Thank you. I appreciate it. Absolutely. For more information on the Uptown Farmers Market, just head to their website. Windows have a big impact on your home's temperature and comfort. Well, the experts at Desert King Windows will knock out that harsh weather while providing quality service. Hi, I'm Jason Short, and this is Desert King Windows. So the, the business was started in 2000. Uh, we, we provide free in-home estimates. It's absolutely no pressure. With us, you're, you're not just a number from the big box company. You know, we're, you're Mr. and Mrs. Smith. You know, there's a heartbeat on the other end of the line when you call us. Um, so we take a huge amount of pride in what we do. This is all we do is windows and doors every single day. We're going to go in there. We're going to educate you on windows. Because if you know as much about windows and doors as we do, you're going to pick us every single time. It's not going to be a high pressure kind of sales tactic. Uh, you can be comfortable with, uh, with us in your home. So day of the install, um, we show up on time with all the windows and doors in hand. We do a quick walkthrough with, with our customer, let, it, let them know where we're going to be starting. Um, we cover furniture. We move any heavier furniture. We also have our own install methods, uh, the way that we actually pull the entire frame. We don't do a retrofit where we'll fit in a window right above another existing aluminum frame. We get it all out of there. That maximizes your glass space. It's a harder install, it really is, but it's a better quality install. Um, it is, uh, it's, it's, it's going to look more original to the house, but obviously updated. We, we try to keep it as clean 
as we possibly can the entire time. You know, it is a construction site, uh, but at the same time, we're very respectful of your home. Most installs are done within a day. All of our windows are completely custom sized, um, so to fit the opening, down to the eighth of an inch. We think it's the, absolutely the best vinyl window on the market, made for the desert. It's not the best window for Montana, it's the best for this climate. When the project is all done, we do a walkthrough with the customer, make sure everything looks, it looks nice and everything is correct. There's, there's obviously a lot of factors to energy efficiency in the home. Um, one, of the, one of the biggest things is how your AC system works along with your windows. The seals are just as important. And so those working together, that's what makes your, energy, your house so energy efficient. Right when their windows are installed, they don't hear the barking dog next door. They don't hear the cars driving by. They don't, you know, hear the school kids uh, leaving school in the, in the afternoon. And then the dust factor, you know, you give people that dust every single week. You're not dusting but every couple of months. I mean, it's a drastic difference. And then on top of the energy efficient savings, it's a very logical uh, upgrade to your home. We're turning 20, so it's we've been in business for 20 years, longer than any other window company, um, in year 2020. So we're gonna celebrate with 20% off for everyone. Have a free in-home estimate, a free no pressure estimate. Learn about windows. Call us out, we'll let you know. Shopping at the farmer's market is the best way to eat locally. You know you're getting your food right from the grower and you can ask them any questions you may have about the food. And the best part, you know that it's fresh. There's more to come on Arizona Living. We get design advice from the experts at American Furniture Warehouse and see all the Wildlife World Zoo has to offer for family fun. American Furniture Warehouse, they have everything from couches to dining tables to fit any design style in your home. Nothing beats the feeling of anticipation and excitement that accompanies each new year. So this year, celebrate the start of a new decade with a fresh style from American Furniture Warehouse. So here's the thing, style doesn't have to cost a fortune. We were able to design this small space room for under $2,000. Here, we've decided to go with a monochromatic look that's accented by pops of yellow and gold. This sectional with shades maximizes seating and comfort without overwhelming the room. And just like with any small space, storage is key. By pairing coordinating bookshelves with the simple and clean furniture in the room, we're able to create a look that is unique and quite contemporary. Finally, what brings this room all together are the pops of yellow and gold throughout the space. The yellow accents in the rug draw your eye to the yellow chair, and the gold accessories give this space a curated look. As always, you can find everything in this room and more at American Furniture Warehouse. Wildlife World Zoo has the largest collection of exotic and endangered animals. There's sure to be something for the entire family to enjoy. Christy Morcom, and we're here at Wildlife World Zoo Aquarium and Safari Park standing on our giraffe feeding platform where guests can come out and have the opportunity to feed these amazing creatures behind me. This area is one of our guests' favorite places here at Wildlife World because you not only get to have the opportunity to feed the giraffes, but you're standing up at eye level with these amazing animals. And giraffes are such unique creatures. They have very long necks, but a lot of people are surprised to find out they have as many vertebrae in their neck as we do. The biggest draw to Wildlife World is how interactive everything is here. You get very close to the wildlife, and we have several areas where people can have up-close, one-on-one experiences with animals and really have that connection with wildlife because we believe when people have that connection, it's then when they're truly inspired to want to conserve and protect wildlife. 
this year we're celebrating our 35th anniversary. And in these 35 years, we've really grown and now we're over 100 developed acres. So while this zoo used to be an area that locals would bring their family to come and enjoy animals and wildlife, we now are a destination here in Arizona. When people are traveling or they'll come to Arizona just to see our amazing collection. When visiting Wildlife World, there's a couple things you want to keep in mind. One is how large we are. Now that we're over 100 developed acres, it'll take you a long time to see everything that the park has to offer. So you usually want to arrive early. The Zoo Aquarium opens at 9 a.m. And it's good to see the zoo first because the zoo stays open until 6 and the aquarium stays open until 7. And with over 6,000 animals in several different areas, some people say it can take two days to see everything in the park. So you want to make sure you give yourself plenty of time. We're open 365 days a year, whether it's raining outside or it's a beautiful day like today. But we have Arizona's weather conditions in mind, and it was always taken into consideration when expanding and building the park. So we have lots of shade trees and several indoor animal exhibit buildings. So you're able to get away from the temperatures if you need to. When people come here, they can expect 10 rides, which surprises a lot of people. Here at Wildlife World Zoo, we train our California sea lions to participate in educational shows to hopefully leave our guests feeling inspired to help do their part to protect our oceans. These are our three adults. So right here behind me, this is Crockett. He's our largest um, sea lion and he's our big boy. He's seven years old and almost 400 pounds. He is quite the ham, as you can see here. And we also have our two ladies. We have Paris, who is uh, nine years old. She's about 165 pounds. And we also have Andy. She's 10 years old and 175 pounds. Come visit us at Wildlife World Zoo, Aquarium, and Safari Park. We're a fabulous destination and home to Arizona's largest exotic animal collection. Okay, here's a top tip. When you're shopping at a farmer's market, arrive early for the best selection of produce. But if you're looking for a bargain, some of the vendors will have end of day sales. Here's what's coming up next. We take a trip to Tucson to explore their art scene. And I'm heading back to one of the funkiest decades, the 70s. Get ready to macrame in our craft room crash. Back in the 70s, the hottest crafting trend was macrame, or so I'm told. Well, it's back, and this time it's taking on a modern spin. Check out this craft room crash, decades in the making. This is Craft Room Crash, and I'm outside Amy Guerrero's studio. Now, she is mad about macrame, and not the kind of macrame you remember from the 70s. Today's macrame is sleek and elevated. So let's go crash her craft room and find out what Amy is nodding up today. Hi, Jane. Hi. Come on in. All right. So this is your craft room? Yes. Wow. It is all knotted up. I have been macrame since probably junior high. So we've got <laughs> all of this rope here because macrame is the art of knot tying. I like to work on smaller wall hangings, plant hangers, and even keychain accessories. You just learn one knot of macrame and you can create so no. many different things. Yeah, it's really interesting to me how you can take just one neutral rope and you can create this whole interesting project from it. So a lot of it is cotton rope, which is the first update that you'll see between like the 70s macrame and like right. modern macrame. Uh -huh. What I like to do is be inspired by the 70s, but then utilize new materials to make it feel more updated and modern. The biggest thing I've ever made is probably like six foot by eight foot, and that took about two days. Are you nuts? <laughs> no, you're nuts. Yeah. <laughs> So today we are going to be making a macrame plant hanger. A lot of people will come up and be like, my aunt's house was like full of plant hangers. And I love it because I partner my little macrame plant hangers with vintage mugs and the little plant inside of it to make just a really cute, adorable set. 
So I'm gonna give this back to you because I have no idea. When it comes to tying knots, I'm all thumbs. So you just start with your rope here. Mm. I've already pre-cut. We've started with three six-foot ropes and three nine-foot ropes just from this spool right here. So we're gonna start with a wrapping knot okay. to start our project. But you're gonna take this cord and you're going to leave yourself a little loop at the bottom uh -huh. here and then like its namesake, you're just gonna wrap it around everything. Oh. So you've got this loop here, yeah. and then you're gonna be able to like tuck this up. Oh, because that's that of the piece wrap. we left up. She's like that's a magician. She did it so fast. I gotta repeat. And that's it. It's knotted. Yeah. You're gonna start with this left one. Yup. You're gonna make what I call a four. I see. So then this one's over, over, and then under this third one here. This one here is gonna tuck behind everything up Pull through, it. I just call it the four hole. You're pulling it all the way through. And then once we tighten it up to the top, that is the first nut. Wow. Once we do that over and over again, it's actually gonna start to spiral. This is actually a two-step knot. So we're gonna start with what we already know. So you're gonna take your two outside cords. Okay. You're gonna take that left one and you're gonna do that four. Okay, I'm doing the same thing you are, okay. And then instead of tightening all the way up to here, we're just going to leave it right there. So they're at the same height. Oh my gosh. Now, okay. we're gonna take our right cord mm -hmm. and we're gonna do like a backwards four. Oh, okay. Oh, we just made a square knot. Yeah. That's a so square you, knot. Yeah, you graduated to square knots. You could be a master macrame. Have you I am it? a master macrame. Oh, she's a master macrame, excuse me. <laughs> Where's the crown? So next we are gonna finish the project with a wrapping knot. We're gonna hold it at the top and we're gonna create like a loop. And then this is like the wrapping part. Yep. And that's not gonna come apart. No, that'll hold just fine. It really is magic, Amy. And then you can trim your fringe to whatever length you think. Do you just go like this, like it's yep. like giving someone's hair a pon like a ponytail cut? Yeah, I really feel like I yes. should like go to hairdressing school yeah. when I'm like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cute. And then we have this cute, adorable mug with a little plant in it. That is so awesome. Yep. Oh my gosh, I love this. Thanks so much to Amy. Now we all know how to make a macrame hanging plant holder, reintroducing an old style in a modern new way. And that's what Amy is making in her craft room. What are you making in your craft room? I'll see you next time. This is so much fun. I really, really enjoy it. I think I can do it. Yeah. Don't go anywhere. There's more Arizona living coming up. We travel to the old Pueblo to take in their outdoor adventures. Get more great tips for enhancing your life. Visit yourview.com for more videos from Arizona Living. Your life, your style. If you're looking for a change of scenery, head two hours south to Tucson to check out their unique arts, culture, and food. Let's take a look. Nicole Dahl, Creative Director of Hotel McCoy in Tucson. What makes Tucson a cultural destination is you can love any aspect of culture and you'll find it here and you'll find it with authenticity. People that visit Tucson are really excited to see that the people here and the vibe and the attitude is so art positive. They can walk around any corner and get an Instagramable picture of a mural. A great place to take your family in Tucson is the Mini Time Machine Museum. Think dollhouses, but so much more. They have a miniature snow village, miniature fairy castles, the Pima Air and Space Museum. My kids love it because they get to see over 300 different types of planes. A really great place to see the arts and culture of Tucson is Mission San Javier. Year. The building itself is a work of art, but there's also so much great art all around the property. When it comes to art and culture, Tucson offers accessibility. We have art for everyone and that anyone can feel. Hi, I'm David Larson. I'm the executive chef at Panko Restaurant. Tucson is very bright. I feel like there's a lot of people doing really great things. I know it's kind of like a buzzword now, just farm to table, but Tucson really did, did, really did adopt it. Tucson is very cautious about keeping the Tucson feel and the Tucson niche and community instead of making it feel like just a bunch of chains. So for like 
caldo de queso, for example, like, like cheese soup. There's a place on 22nd and 4th called uh, Birria Guadalajara. Coffee is insane in Tucson, like EXO is like amazing. Uh, Maria from Boca does really amazing things with tacos, especially her exotic Taco Wednesdays are pretty great. The local bar and scene in Tucson, definitely a lot of variety and things you can try out. TLC, Tough Luck Club, uh, below Riley's. Do an amazing cocktail program. So when it comes to dining, Tucson has to offer a lot of hospitality and a lot of variety as far as food. Hi, my name is Evan Pilling. I'm the executive director for Sonoran Desert Mountain Bicyclists in Tucson, Arizona. Tucson and Southern Arizona in general is an amazing outdoor recreation destination. We are blessed with incredibly diverse terrain, iconic Sonoran Desert landscape, and we have the Catalinas, which is a mountain range that hits up above 9,000 feet. If you're a cross-country rider, you can go out to the Arizona National Scenic Trail and do an all-day ride out there. If you're a hiker, you can do everything from a short day hike out at, uh, out at Sweetwater, um, Sabino Canyon, and Ventana Canyon. If you're a climber, Mount Lemmon has more rock climbing than you can shake a stick at. You've got everything from short clip up bolted routes to multi-pitch trad routes. When it comes to outdoor recreation, Tucson has experiences that you can't find anywhere else. We have variety, we have a diverse landscape, uh, we have experiences for users of any ability level, and we always have opportunities to try something new. So when you come here, try something you've never tried before. I want to thank everyone here at the Uptown Farmers Market. We had a great time today. Another bonus when you come to the Uptown Farmers Market is their veggie valet service. On Saturdays, if you buy fruit or veggies here at the market, you can have them chopped, sliced, or diced on site. This free service is made possible by our partnership with Careers Through Culinary Arts Program. They send high school students to culinary school through scholarships. Take advantage of this great service and donations are appreciated. I'm Jane Monzuris, and I'll see you next time on Arizona Living, your home, your inspiration, where we help you create an inspired life.